So uh, congratulations, Audi Field. You said 2018. Uh, you guys have your home opener this weekend against Kansas City on Saturday. That's got to be exciting. So first Just of all, congratulate them. They, they turned it around last year. Yeah. And maybe you can talk about it to kind of set the scene for this year that, you know, you had a couple down years we, yeah. and you were very stressed out. You still seem to be stressed no, out, no, but no, last no. year we, you turned it around. We, you know, look, we I, we made the playoffs the last couple of years. So, okay. I, you know, uh, initially that's always our goal. But down the stretch, we were very good. Um, the difference between that was we were scoring a bunch of goals and uh, playing a really attractive style. Uh, feeling good into the playoffs, and we had a one-off with Montreal. And uh, you know, sometimes in soccer, you have a one-off. Uh, things happen. So, but the good thing is, in the off season, we kept the majority of that group. So uh, that continuity hopefully will will, will push us forward uh, early in the season, where again we have a lot of home games, and we're looking to get some points. And Jason, you've been involved with the team now for two years. This is my sixth year. Oh, it's your sixth year. I'm <laughs> just you're completely all just time, time flies, but I will, I will tell you, Ben did, did an unbelievable job with the group last year. Um, going into my sixth year, this is the most exciting squad we've had, the, the kind of uh, soccer they're playing, uh, possession-based, attacking-based. It's, it's really fun to watch. I just got back, um, was down in Florida watching them train, and, and uh, they look really good. And, and I, I'll tell you this. So when I started, uh, when we first invested in the club in, in 2012, uh, we went to the conference finals, and uh, it was an unbelievable run. We beat the Red Bulls, and I was saying, "This is easy. I mean, this, what, this is a lot of fun." Right. Uh, and so uh, we went into the off season, and you know, Ben and I and Dave Casper spoke, and we we decided we weren't going to make a lot of changes. We really liked the squad we had, um, and then we just you know took it on the chin the whole year in 2013. I think that's what you're referring to. Mm. Uh, the worst year in the history of the league by any team. <laughs> uh, won three matches, and so that was not a lot of fun. Uh, but since then, it's been a steady, steady improvement. Ben's done a great job with the group. Uh, they've been adding new talent. Dave Casper's added some great talent from from overseas, from obviously from the U.S. Uh, they've drafted really well, and I think we're in a great spot right now. By the way, apologies if when you leave here at some point today, you're attacked by the soccer nerds that work here because they're going to find out that you are one of the co-owners of Swansea City over in Europe. And they're all going to go crazy, especially the guy behind the glass there who's grinning ear to ear. So all the EPL nerds are going to come <laughs> out of the woodwork when Jason and Ben walk out the door here today. So I'm apologizing in advance for that. No worries. We, we had an up-and-down weekend uh, from my perspective. We, we beat uh, you know, the Philly Union uh, on Saturday uh, to, you know, to finish the preseason. D.C. United did 3-2. to right. I thought we played really well. But uh, Swansea got whacked by, by Chelsea uh, at Stamford Bridge, so it was a little bit unpleasant. Right. Talk about uh, Audi Field, how exciting that is for the community, for the team. Look, RFK has been a nice home for 21 years now for D.C. United, but you get to move into a soccer-specific stadium. It's going to hold 20,000 You know, on days when D.C. United isn't playing there. It's going to host concerts, uh, you know, other events for the community. Talk about Audi Field and all it's going to bring here to this part of D.C. It's right down the street from where we're broadcasting. Oh, it, it's incredible. I mean, this is really an incredible day for us. Uh, for Ben, he's been at it since 1998, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, you know, we got involved in 2012, and we said, you know, we've got to make this happen. And I told people at that first press conference I was going to use my machete to try to find a path to getting the stadium. And what I didn't realize is we needed about 100 machetes. Right. Um, so we, we, we made it a team effort. Uh, I think we did, a, you know, really uh, went through a long process with the mayor, with the city council, with all the stakeholders in the community, um, and I think we've come to a, a terrific place, um, and it's going to be an outstanding building. It really is, and, and getting a, a company like Audi on board to be our, our naming rights partner, um, that's been a lot, taking a lot of work, and I, but I think they're an outstanding brand for us, a high-performance brand, uh, and a company with great synergy with, with D.C. United. And Jason won't take no for an answer. I mean, he's done a great job. A lot of people try to get this stadium, a uh, bunch of hurdles, and uh, to his credit, to, to get this new home. Uh, at this point, this quick uh, into his ownership, uh, it, it's an amazing day for DC United. Really, is. I just noticed. I'm just checking the roster out. I just noticed John Harks kids there. There you go, Ian Harks. Yeah, I don't know where I saw. I guess he played at Wake, right? What, played at Wake, and he was the Herman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was best player in college soccer. This yeah, year. he was the best player, and I saw some highlight of him because I don't follow college soccer. So, but I saw a highlight, and I, and I texted John because we've had John on the show a bunch of times. I said, "Is was Ian better than you at?" that age and because john went to uva he was stud all american he goes at some things so <laughs> at some things <laughs> you know how john is yeah uh but that's awesome that ian harks is in town that's they're, great they're a little bit different but uh, uh 
both have a, a good moxie about him and very very excited. Is he a baller? Is he yeah, a baller? No, he's he, he's real. Is um, he fast? He's not fast. He's a, a very technical player, a very smart player. Right. You know, you could tell he's grown up watching the game. Right. Right. Um, because the game comes very easy to him. Now, him transitioning to the pro game, uh, playing against grown men, frankly, it, it's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, but, again, from a soccer standpoint, uh, he'll be fine, and he's a very quick learner. Uh, he you guys can add Echeverry's son and Jaime Moreno's <laughs> right. son. And if the shoe fits. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, absolutely. They're, uh, it's, 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 the history's nice. And, and today, a little bit is about history, too. I'm, I'm a romantic with the club, but... A lot of guys that wore this jersey and a lot of people that worked for this club, um, you know, it's a special day for them as well.